the Sun Bowl. That's right. Pitt and UCLA. UCLA currently a four-point favorite. Total sits at 54.5. This one's on Friday, December 30th at 1 p.m. Central Time on CBS. And what do you got to do here? You got to pull up the numbers so that you can see exactly what you're working with. All right. Since week eight of the season, my numbers would have UCLA favored by half a point. UCLA was not great down the stretch, especially their defense. The issue here is that uh, Keaton Slovis is transferring away from Pitt. Uh, Abani Kanda, the running back for Pitt, is going to set this one out. They got some other guys that are that are opting out of this one. Apparently, people in Pitt not super interested in going to El Paso, Texas. Yeah, okay, I can understand that. Uh, UCLA, it appears they got all their dudes. I haven't seen anybody that's uh, that's really opting out at this point. Again, we are recording this early on December 20th. So, there we go. Offensive success rate, UCLA number two. Uh, Pitt is number four in defensive success, uh, success rate. A Pitt number 49 in offensive success rate. UCLA number 128. That's a bit of an issue. If Pitt's defense shows up, yeah, they could get some stops against Chip Kelly's offense. I just don't know that they're going to show up on this. Um, I don't know how interested Pitt is in in winning this game at all. But I'll, I'll tell you this. Uh, I have a feeling that it's going to be kind of cold in El Paso. I'm going to trust Pat Narduzzi's defense and the fact that they will want to slow this game down. I don't know who's going to play quarterback for them. Uh, this seems like an easy, easy UCLA bet. But I think the line is way off. Like, this might be a field goal game. Uh, anytime we've had teams from L.A. going out to El Paso, Texas uh, for, you know, the end of the year, it doesn't always turn out well. Um, Pitt, I think that there's at least enough, you know, defensive push here that we're going to we're gonna have some fun. I don't think that the Pitt offense against the UCLA defense is going to be fun. But I do think that... I do think Pitt's defense will show up. So we'll see what Dorian Thompson Robinson does here. But uh, you know what? I'll take Pitt. I'll take Pitt plus the four here. Uh, normal normal breakdowns would be, you know, huge on this. But I'm I'm not going to bother doing that because there's going to be opt-outs. There's going to be more things happen here. Um, and I don't think that the numbers for this game are necessarily all that important. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.